Hi there everyone, friends, family, and random people that are on the internet watching me right now. So the goal of this video is to tell you about Blockchain Goods, which is an organization on the blockchain that is going to be selling these things. These are called, oh, there we go, Bitcoin Energy Drinks. The underlying the reason the organization exists is because the, we want to use blockchain for everything. So sourcing raw material to selling the product to handling the money. So. Right now I have two of the most critical components set up. So the one is Aragon. Aragon is the organization slash future DAO that'll, that's going to be behind these. And then Open Bazaar. Open Bazaar is where we're gonna be selling these. If you wanna buy one, you don't have to buy one actually. You know, you can just go there and be like, haha, they can, they can do stuff on Open Bazaar. But that's the goal, that's the aim. And eventually what we wanna do is have everything on the blockchain in terms of sourcing the raw materials on the blockchain, sourcing, you know, the production blockchain related company with blockchain related stuff, you know, delivery, logistics, all on blockchain, you know, maybe we'll use some blockchain shipping network to ship these to you. Um, and that would be super cool because you could pay for it in, in whatever crypto you want, get these things shipped to your house or your, you know, wherever. And, um, it's all on the blockchain. So th that's the that's the primary goal. Um, so let me just show you my current setup right now. This is what the blockchain goods store looks like right now. So if you if you go on to Open Bazaar and look up blockchain goods or Bitcoin G drinks, you'll find this and you'll find this. It's thirty six dollars. Comes in a pack of twelve. We are currently out, and uh, you have to pay some hefty shipping fee because drinks are. A lot harder to pack actually than other objects. In terms of refunds, we could take a blockchain related project that does refunds and see if we can integrate that here. And then there are no terms of services because this is not like a service, a product you buy. You know, there's no guarantees. It may taste terrible to you. So that's that. And that is the that is this first part. The second part is the governance aspect of this. So let me show you that really quickly. Thank you. Okay, everyone, so um, you've seen the open bazaar, you know, decentralized store uh, slash marketplace uh, platform. Now the real fun begins at the organization level. So Aragon helps you build basically DAOs, if you think about it. Uh, it's unstoppable organizations and that can create value without borders or intermediaries. So I've already set one up and this is it. I'll just take you home. Um, so here you can assign tokens, vote, make new payments, I'm not sure who I'm going to pay, but let's try it. Nah, I don't want to pay anyone, so we're going to go back home. You can check your finances, you can assign tokens, and you can vote. So in terms of token assignment, you know, I've given myself 101 tokens. Um, for voting purposes, I think uh, I minted 100 tokens. So I had one token before, so I can, I can um, mint tokens. So here the goal is use this organization to track all the uh, incoming cash flow um, from the open bazaar and then whatever we accept in open bazaar i think we accept right now bitcoin cash but we have to reset that up and accept ethereum as well and a couple others that we want to accept and the original bitcoin uh, so the goal there is convert everything from that store to ethereum and send it here um, to this organization address. So the organization has this address. This is their, this is the organization address for my organization. And I've set it three Ethereum because I could. And remember it's on the Rigby network. So it's not like three real Ethereum cause we're not, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I've sent it, I've sent it a uh, test net Ethereum. So my other goal is to bridge the gap between this organization feature of, of Aragon and Open Bazaar. So, you know, mainly the conversion of money. So there might, so right now we're gonna use um, Shapeshift to, to deal with that, but maybe there might be a bridge between these two projects one day, who knows? So yeah, um, one thing I wanna note out here is in terms of the finance, <laughs> they still have BitConnect here. <laughs> they should get rid of this. Um, we don't need BitConnect, biggest Ponzi ever. 
anyway so that's that and that's the goal that's your review thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this awesome journey to learn about blockchain and bitcoins and stuff see you guys later <laughs>